Good day. My name is Mark Woodworth. I'm joined by my good friend and colleague, Jack Cordial. And Jack, good to have you here in Atlanta. Good to uh, be it's here. late January, and welcome to another edition of Lodging Insights. Uh, earlier this week, we released to our uh, clients and subscribers uh, the most recent accuracy assessment, and uh, we think we continue to prove and, uh, improve and look good, Jack, in which case we probably don't need to rely on the crystal ball as much as we used no, to. No, no, we're, we're putting this aside. So we'll put that aside. And uh, uh, there was a piece of news that we heard actually earlier today, and that was the federal government uh, announced that the fourth quarter real GDP change was 3.2%. So, Jack, was that a surprise to you? Do you feel good? Do you feel bad? What's your take? It really wasn't a surprise to me. Um, coming off of the heels of a 4.1% uh, GDP growth rate in the third quarter of 2013, and uh, it proves that the economy is on a, a very strong recovery path. But, you know, Mark, some of the, um, so, some of the real insights and, 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 and their implications for the hotel business come as a result of looking at the components of GDP. Consumer spending was incredibly strong, uh, led by uh, automobiles and other durables. Uh, services were fine, but the real surprises came in uh, business investment, which was up uh, about 6.9 percent, and exports were exports, up a surprising 12.3 percent. Now, here's here's an interesting factoid for you: if government spending had been flat, uh, the the real GDP number would have been 4.2 percent. Really? Wow, interesting. Now, we, we just came back from Alice. Uh, we had a good time. You had a good time, We did, right? yeah. And uh, spoke to a lot of interesting people there, uh, tried to gain as much industry knowledge as we could. And, and the, the whole conversation about bookings, uh, hotel bookings and booking pace came up. And, and, and you've been thinking about this a bit in the last, uh, uh, last hour since, uh, since we've been around uh, post-Alice. So what, what are your current thoughts on, uh, on booking and booking pace today? Yeah, and that was probably one of the more surprising things that we heard uh, from some folks uh, in Los Angeles earlier this week that there were concerns about uh, the group segment and that might group booking pace be decelerating. And, um, and, and it was truly that a, a surprise because we continue to feel very confident that 2014 should be another very, very strong year of growth uh, in the industry and, 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 and really in the form of all types of travel, uh, including group. And uh, so when we got back and had a chance to look at some data, and we're far from exhausting uh, uh, what we're going to do in looking into this, but uh, what we continue to see is the group booking pace overall uh, seems to be accelerating as we look at what happened uh, where we were a couple years ago, where we were in uh, 2012, 2013, and what the pace looks like as we look at 14, 15, and even into 16. And is that the, confirmed by some of the people that you talk to? Yeah, and that, that tick and ties very closely with, uh, with a number of the CEOs that, that I and then a number of them together, as you mm -hmm. know, we uh, had a chance to meet with out in, uh, at Alice. And um, so it kind of reassured me that, that our thinking that we've had for quite some time now about 2014 uh, remains, means, frankly, very, very solid. Now, uh, it, it also occurs to me that if we think about what's happening at, at occupancy levels, and again, as we, we've talked about for a long time, uh, when, when, when the industry, when individual markets get at and above their long run average occupancy, scarcity becomes an issue, pricing power moves more firmly in the hands of the seller, and uh, lodging economics profits increase in a very attractive rate. Couldn't agree more. And we hit, we hit the industry-wide level 2013, uh, we passed through it. Uh, in 43 of the 50 markets that we track very closely as part of our Hotel Horizons effort, uh, those 43 markets were at or above their long-run average uh, occupancy level, which really by definition means scarcity is becoming more of a factor. And so I suspect what, what we could be seeing, and this is a theory at this point, but we're going to get back to you when we've either proved it or disproved it, that uh, the booking window is beginning to extend out uh, because meeting planners and the people that they represent are having a harder time finding what they want, where they want, at a price that they feel good uh, paying. So, which again, we've seen in past cycles, that, that's all to be expected. So as that occupancy level increases, the booking pace is going to be extended again, as this notion of scarcity becomes more and more relevant. 
Anyway, so, that's... So you're going to look at both 14 and 15 and exactly. not, not take 14 in isolation. Exactly. So okay. we'll get back to you when we have some more definitive thoughts on, in fact, is uh, what's going on in the group side of the business something to feel good about or, or not so good about. But in the interim, good luck again as we enter into 2014. Jack, thanks for your insights, and we'll be uh, back to you in the weeks ahead. See you Thanks soon. again.